Hi, today I'm gonna to show you how I'm going to clean evaporator coils in my uh, home uh, AC unit. I do this maintenance every other year where I have to clean the coils uh, to prevent it from getting clogged. First thing first, always breakers off, cut off the power before you work on anything. Secondly, uh, this year I chose this product. This is Web Pro Cold Cleaner. I'm mixing 10 parts of water with one uh, part of the cold cleaner. To, according to instructions, it says that it, it contains no acids or alkalines, 100% biodegradable. So we'll see how well it works and will not damage anything. So sounds like it's kind of benign. Okay, so the cover is out. Now I'm going to spray that solution on this part of the coil and the worst part is to go underneath and spray it on the inside which collects the most amount of uh, dirt. Of course, when you do that, you need to uh, follow instructions. That solution will have to stay on, on the blades for about five minutes, then we have to rinse it thoroughly make sure that when you clean it don't bend the blades okay now fun begins so every single uh, ac unit might be uh, built differently mine has the access to the inside of the coils from underneath so i'm just gonna have to crawl right here and i will spray both sides of the coils with that uh, solution and I'll show you how it works and we'll see if there's going to be any difference. So, okay, now I'm inside of this small crawl space underneath and this is how dirty my coil is. Yesterday I was cleaning a little bit on this side on the left, so it looks a little bit cleaner, but I can still see there's a little gunk in between the blades. So I'm going to spray that solution and we'll see if it's going to help. So this product does not foam like the foam version, but I will spray it all over and we'll see if I'll see it cleaner in five minutes. Well, it looks like this progress is working because it's kind of getting stuck to all the gunk that is in between the, the blades. You can see it better now. And after five minutes when I wash it with water, it, everything should come down to the dripping pan. And now I'm gonna use the sprayer to clean the coils and I'll show you the result after. Well, I have to say that the coil looks uh, cleaner. So the uh, the thing does work. The only thing that does not work is that all the gunk that is in between uh, the blades, I will have to probably take the uh, my uh, compression gun and just use compressed air to blow it out. Other than that, this looks much better than before and I have to of course do another side so I had to use my compressor to blow all the gunk from in between the gaps of those blades it took me probably I would say almost an hour uh, cleaning does one thing but all the gunk in between adds major stuff that needs to be cleaned and I've never actually done it my bad you know this AC unit is 10 years old and this was about time to do it so I had to use compressor to blow all the junk that was sitting uh, in between and now it's clean so this is the difference uh, this is the side that it's done this is the side that needs to be done so you can see the difference so if you want to have your unit to be efficient 
there should be uh, no gunk in between the blades. Uh, this side doesn't look too bad. I've actually cleaned some of it yesterday, but I still see some gunk on those horizontal uh, pipes that go uh, from left to right. So I'm going to blow air through this side and that's gonna be it. So and now this is the difference. Dirty and clean. Alrighty. Thanks for watching guys. Goodbye.